behind the scenes Now we just see everything we believe We just see everything we believe Hello, what's going on YouTube fam? This is Jay Money here, and I, I'm late, <laughs> that's for sure, but um, yeah, this week was a crazy week, uh, my cousin's graduation party was on Friday, his graduation day was on Saturday, I was at all day, both those days, and even Thursday, I was doing a live recorded match, and my phone kind of died mid match in the middle of game three and it was a pretty good match too so I was pretty upset about that so I was gonna upload a live match but I don't know yeah you might notice my voice is a bit weird today because that's because I just woke up just so I can record because I need to record something so yeah the rest of the days I've been getting used to my new job and I've been working until 3 o'clock in the morning, and so I consistently wake up at about 11.30. So I don't think I'll be able to have my, uh, do my 10 o'clock upload anymore. So I'll probably have to figure out a new time of when I want to start uploading videos. Anyway, this is Chaos Dragons. Um, this build is going to change. It's not subjected to change, because it will change. And you'll see why at the end of the profile. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so starting this bad boy off, we of course have Triple Eclipse Wyvern. Still the heart and soul of the deck. It's still Chaos Dragons. You still want to resolve them as many times as you can. It's a lot harder to resolve. Well, not a lot harder. It's just not nearly as easy because some Sork is banned. Which means Brilliant Fusion basically lived out its usefulness because you know random monsters turned into summon sources which got you into said eclipse wyvern to get you what you need but nonetheless it's still a card you really want to go for <clears throat> i think this became the second important dragon in the entire deck because it is an extender you can drop it to the board you can send Eclipse Wyverns from your hands, you can send other things from your hand. Um, you can make Miko with it in awkward situations. And it's a level three or a level four lower dragon to make guard dragons with, that's worth noting. So you know that's it for those. So now we're gonna have our eclipse targets. You got uh, your Deshrudo, Chaos Zipper. I did have the prize card, for those of you who might ask, I did have to sell that prize card. So I could move, you know. So I'm back in Texas. For those of you who aren't aware, what is going on, baby? What are you doing? Nope, 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 nope. Get out of the camera. Get out of the camera. Hey, nope, nope, move, 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 move. <laughs> there you go. Uh, two Levineers. Still, um, if you draw one, you still want to be able to melody, I guess. Uh, Darkness Metal, of course, but. Um, you know, you do find yourself banishing this a lot now, because you're summoning Brotar a lot, so, yeah. This is a 50 card deck now, guys, it's not 60. <coughs> so we got our Pulsar Dragon and our Flare. Um, honestly, I'm honestly debating on cutting this and just adding a second Flare, because it just digs for Eclipse Wyvern, which is important. <coughs> So stay tuned to that, I guess, when the deck changes. And again, I'll show you why the deck changes at the end of the profile. Two and two. One's not better than the other in this deck. You just want to drop them and make guard dragon plays with them, etc., uh, etc. Et <clears throat> this is generally the card you're going for now uh, with your LP. Because it can search you a myriad of different things. And, you know, it's, it's wonderful. I love the card. <clears throat> you know, the fact that you can also summon it with Celestial Spheres and get additional things to set up for next turn is pretty nice, too, if you really want to summon Darkness Metal. You know, so, again, that's, that's nice. Alright, you got your Amorphic Goliath, just your one-off cards, and your uh, Gamma Seal, just, yeah. 
For those of you who saw the combo tutorial, you know why the Gamma Seal's there. And for our Will Chalice cards, we have one Lee and one Will Chalice Guard Dragon uh, to round up those um, extra monsters to resolve Miko. Now for the Miko Turbo cards, essentially, you've got um, your three Draco Nets and your Galaxy Serpent for the Draco Nets. So you can uh, turbo up Miko that way as a level 5 monster. Uh, you got your uh, three Over Raptors and your Carbonetin. And you're going to try to banish it to summon a uh, Flamel Guard. Which is, uh, yeah, it's another dragon. You need those tuners to not only equal Miko, but you need them to be dragons because World Legacy Guard Dragon is a card you're generally going to be searching. Now, for the one-off dinosaurs, we got our Miscellaneous Source, we got our Dracaiolo, uh, your Overtex Quatlus, and your UCT. Now, again, uh, you, a lot of you are probably wondering why I'm not playing uh, three Miscellaneous Source. And honestly, it's because you really don't need them. You really don't need them. You're generally opening over Raptor or Fossil Dig, if you open one, or a combination of the two, then you're just going to get the Miscellaneous anyway. Um, you don't want to really be in a situation where you hard draw Miscellaneous and don't have a way to get to Over Raptor. So, you know, it was also a way to cut the deck down to about 50. So, we're onto the spells now. Of course, if you're playing Miko and you want to resolve it, you have to play this card. You have to play Calm by the Grave to stop those pesky hand traps and friends and you know you want to follow up with triple fossil dig you want to follow up with fossil digs because well you want more copies of Miko Turbo now I don't have sign up mining so for those of you who want to play Chaos Dragons if you have sign up mining or you can afford it or you can you know get your hands on it I do encourage you to get your hands on sign up mining because it just gets you access to Draconet, it baits out hand traps, you know, things like that. If you already have a Miko Turbo card in your hand and you just want to check for Ash or something, then yes, please get the side of Mining's. But you got your Dragon Shrines are still important because you, probably even more so now than they were then because you don't have nearly as many ways to send Eclipse Wider to the grave. Uh, Melody. Uh, we cut it down to one because honestly you don't really need it, but it's really just there just to bait out hand traps, of course. And then we got uh, the two water fronts because you know why, because Gamma Seal is just OP. Uh, last three cards in the main deck, we got our two searchable targets for Miko. You're generally searching this, but you want to have another target to search in case you do draw this. And Foolish Burial, of course, because, well, more ways to send Eclipse Wyvern into the graveyard, guys. Alright, oh, yeah, my bad. Double Evolution Pill, because UCT. Um, at the end of the profile, I'll go over what cards aren't necessary in the deck, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, extra deck, you've got to play this card. This is what Chaos Dragons is now, really, is Miko Turbo. Um, there are other ways to really get to where you need to go, but Miko is the most consistent way to do it. And, uh, yeah. By the way, if you can't afford side-up mining, you can play Mathematician instead. But it does add three more normal summons to your deck, which is what I'm not down with. Uh, Synchros. Uh, you got your Dawn Dragster, your Hot Red Abyss, and your Borload Savage Dragon. You're still putting these cards on the board. That has not changed. Uh, your Xyz, you get your 38 and your Levier. Uh, you don't really need this card, it's just there just because I have the space. Realistically, in this deck you have two extra extra deck spaces. And Levier was one of them, I'll show you what the other one is when I get to it. Uh, now for the links, we got LP, SD, and Agarpain because this is Dragons. Dragon Mace deck, you want to play Guard Dragons, you know, you know the deal. Uh, Reaper Docus, you need it for the combo. And the Hieratic Link, 
celestial spears because you know summoning dragons from the deck is great um, this is the second card that's basically kind of extra you don't really need it but you know it's nice to have I suppose so if you have any other idea as to what you want to put into your deck in place of Levier or Triple Burst Dragon, just know that those are expendable cards. And last but not least, our Link Force, our Double Skull Dread, and our Boral Sword Dragon. Um, if you can't afford the Boral Sword, um, you don't really need it, honestly, because if you're really that far along in your combo to where you're making a big board, you're probably going to win anyway. So, you know. Again, it, it's great, but you don't really need it in this deck in particular. When you have things like Levy Nears popping stuff, when you got big beaters all over the place like Darkness Metals and things like that. So yeah, but if you do have the prize card instead of Chaos Ember Dragon, I do recommend playing that instead because it allows you to get more Eclipse Wyverns, especially since you can't consistently access multiple copies like you were before so anyway now that the profile is done uh, why is the deck going to change well I'm gonna go ahead and show you so looking at the stack there's one one gl big glaring problem and that is the fact that um, what's going on right now is the deck is extremely reliant on its normal summon it's extremely reliant on accessing the Miko so basically the deck as it stands right now as it's built it's either access Miko and resolve it or you kind of lose the game that is the issue I'm having with it right now and that's why I know for a fact the deck is going to change because that's one thing I don't believe in doing I don't believe in building decks that have are really that linear and have only one uh, one way to get to where you need to go. That's what I don't believe in doing. I don't like to showcase uh, decks that are that fragile to where if one particular card gets stopped, you lose the game. I don't like doing that. I want, you know, when I showcase a deck, I showcase a deck that has multiple options uh, for play. It has multiple options in terms of the boards it can make, but it doesn't have multiple lines multiple plays to start things out with now but there is one thing I do want to show you and that's just the cards you do really don't even need in the deck and there's a few of them so you know I'm gonna run through them as we go so first off okay maybe the Aeolo you might need the Aeolo but um and you might need the miscellaneous still but these, you don't, you don't really need those guys. So, you know, that's, there's that. You don't need this. Melody, you don't really need. Again, you'd rather just dig them out with your Eclipse Wyverns and, you know, and recycle Eclipse Wyverns and get more. Um, you, so, yeah, you don't really need those. In fact, you don't even really need the, the water fronts and the Gamma Seals. You don't need those. But it does give you more options uh, for, in, you know, for your ending board state in case you don't get what you got, you know, what you wanted to get into. Honestly, you don't even really need the Amorphous Goliath. Once you make your board, uh, you should be pretty solid from there. Um, honestly. So, looking at all those, you know, there's a lot of cards that you can work with. So, again, I see all these cards as something you don't really even need. So, for me personally, I might keep the water fronts and the Gamma Seal in. But, I think there's a couple of other cards I probably had ran through that I honestly don't even need to play. That really is just, I could cut and try to find something else that will basically allow me to still... Perform a guard dragon combo without accessing, without the need to access Miko, if that makes any sense. So, I'll end up getting back to you guys regarding that, but 
That is the problem with the deck now. That's why I didn't want to really showcase a profile now because it's re it's really good if these cards resolve, but so far these right here are the only cards that you really want to get into. And that's bad. You know, when you find hands to where you don't open access to uh, Draconet or Overraptor, you find yourself having an awkward hand, and that's something I'm not okay with. So, that's the conundrum I'm looking at personally, is just overall the, yeah, the startup. It's the startup, you know, it's my options of getting to where I need to go. They're very limited, and they're all pointing towards Miko. So, once I figure out how to get off some more guard dragon plays without just needing to, you know, use my normal summon to get to Miko, then I will make an updated profile. So, until then, again, this is a rough draft. This deck will change. It's not subjected to change. It will change because its starting line of play is something I'm not comfortable with. Because its starters are very, very, very limited. So, with that being said, guys, I'm sorry it took so long to uh, upload a video. Uh, this is a crazy week. You know, again, new job, graduations, and I did record some live duels, but my phone kind of died in the middle of them, so there's all that. But I should be back to uploading like normal. So thank you very much, guys. This is Jay Money, and I am signing out.